Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got something that finally came in that I've ordered. A lot A lot of you are actually getting these right now. Uh, we ordered these a long time ago and it's as, as is the case with this kind of stuff, you just wait and then you almost forget about it and then you get an email saying here it comes and you're like oh yeah I forgot I got that thing this is going to be awesome so thank you so much to I have to make sure how it's listed yeah Null Knives for sending this in I think a lot of you are going to know what this is thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex I mean I'm saying thank you for sending it thank you for shipping it I, I actually ordered it uh, <laughs> After I reviewed this knife, um, I, I thought, sorry, I have to make a cut off camera because there's uh, personal information on the front. After I reviewed this knife, I was like, you know what? I have to have one of those. Um, so I ordered one and I cannot wait to see. I'm not even going to be nice to the box. Sorry. Oh boy, so here's who it is, right? There you go. Uh, you guys can uh, check out Sean Lum at all of these um, different areas, right? Finally, Whoa, wait. Oh, they come, that's right. Um, a quick note, as much as I make fun of people who like, you know, are, are either complaining or praising packaging, because I'm always like, what are you going to do? You're going to carry the packaging? Actually... The pouches that Knoll Knives uh, sends are super useful because they have multiple pockets. So I keep one here uh, in my office and I will keep this guy probably in the console of my truck for bits and other small tools. Those are actually super useful and the material that he makes these out of, I mean, it's just like, oh yeah, he must have a collection of like old dad jeans somewhere. I'm kidding. But it's these are super nice. So nice, nice packaging here. <laughs> okay what do we got here oh boy the day has finally come Pew! yes yes oh what a beauty oh what a beauty look at that <laughs> it's been so long i missed i've missed this knife so much because i had to send the other one back Ah, oh, the Null Knives Voodoo. This, uh, the one that I ordered was hand rub satin finish. And then we got the camo fat carbon. Now there's a lot of different versions. God, this little, I remember this immediately, the thumb tetrahedron, or I'm not really sure, but it is so perfectly shaped and so perfectly positioned. Look how he writes it, M390 in the fancy font. And the textured pivot. This is such a good looking knife. This is such a good looking knife. In a world that has made it, in a knife world that has made it increasingly difficult to come up with a unique aesthetic. And I know, you know, people are still gonna say it's reminiscent of this, reminiscent of that. Everything is rep reminiscent of something. But he still managed to create some immediately identifiable character. When you can look at this, when you see it one time and then forever, when you scroll by it on Instagram or you find it on a website or whatever, you see a picture of it on the internet and you go, I know exactly what that is because it doesn't really look like anything else. Um, and uh, that was part of the reason that I ordered it. Um, the ergonomic lines are so beautiful on this. Man, I'm gonna be honest with you, like everything that I buy, you know, I, I own about 150 knives, maybe more at this point. So obviously I, I don't use them all. Like. I don't, it's not possible. I mean, even if I did, it's like, okay, okay, you get, you know, every other month on a Tuesday, you know, no, I have safe queens. Everybody knows that. And if you don't like that, eat a rake. It's not, you didn't, you didn't buy it. Shut your face. But the stuff that I uh, buy either becomes a user or it doesn't. Now I've got users that are, you know, a hundred dollars and I've got users that are $1,500 that have the tips broken off of them. <laughs> if you remember that ordeal um so it's not really about the price it just it, some things i just look at and I go yeah i really want to keep that one clean or other ones i'm like nah you know whatever or i've got multiple the idea with this one 
legitimately was um, to save Queen it, but um, mm, I kind of want to carry and use this guy. Man, that lock bar access is so good. That fuller, the positioning of the fuller, very good. Um, it's also, you know, for some reason, I think it's just the way his logo looks. Normally, I'm a little offended to have the logo on the blade, but for some reason, it just kind of camos itself in there. I mean, it looks great on this side. The overall shape of the um, scales, uh, the way that this is like shaped into the back here, that backspacer where they, they, they do the U shape to really highlight daring someone to say that it's off center. That's risky. <laughs> <laughs> I love this knife, man. I the the Noel Voodoo. I mean, I have two Raidens. Um, from if you're not familiar with Noel knives, oh yeah. And by the way, is a it's a hollow ground um, swedge. <laughs> I mean, for lack of a better way to describe it, right? Man, what an excellent knife. Let's go ahead and do some measurements here real quick. I've already reviewed this. You can look up the review. Is he gonna do more? I would hope so. I mean. I, I would hope this is an excellent, excellent design. Um, these were expensive though. I want to say that this was four, or it's listed as 400 currently. It's eight and a quarter. It's a full size knife, 3.75 inch blade, three and a half inches of cutting edge. What a sweet beast. And, you know, for how much blade. You're actually carrying, man, these came out so great. Th those of you who ordered these, you're gonna be so pumped if you don't have yours yet. You're gonna be over the moon for this thing. Uh, the weight on this, I don't think, I wanna say this weighs like four and a quarter, four and a half, not even. 4.06 ounces, almost, I mean, 4.06 ounces for 3.75 inches of blade and it's balanced right where you're gonna have your finger in that choil position right there. But you have that choke up spot and that little harpoon notch. Yeah, and the contrast between, so inside this little area here, it's blasted. And then we have the flat up here. Well, it's hand rub, this, all this is hand rub. And then you have the blasted um, swedge right there. God, how perfect. Look at the backspacer. <laughs> the little it almost turns into a little heart at the back oh man i'm a i'm a gigantic gigantic fan of this design and uh um you know i i said as much in the review it's it, i don't know that i would change anything i mean i think i would be silly to change anything you, you need to be paying attention to null knives this isn't his first absolute banger I'm gonna guess we're gonna keep getting bangers from Null Knives. In fact, I think he has something special he's sentin', sentin', sending to me, some new design or prototype or something, I can't remember. I don't have, my, my, my memory bank is maxed out. So I only, I just wait and see what shows up and then I, oh yeah, I forgot, right? Um, but I think he's got more stuff coming down the pipeline. So if you miss this, you miss the Raiden or you miss whatever, I have a feeling he's gonna keep serving us up some some great, uh, you know, some some exquisite dishes. Didn't really, th I wasn't sure where I was going with that, so that's what came out of my mouth. <laughs> Anyways, very excited to add this one to the collection. I'll definitely be keeping it. Uh, thanks again to Null Knives. I'll link his website down below. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching everybody and have a great day.